Hey coach, I'm so excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell up above. That will take care of everything you need. Also, make sure you go down below and check out teachheaps.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for resources, if you're looking for a one-stop shop, if you're looking for everything that will make you a better basketball coach, if you can find it down below at teachheaps.com. Have a great day. All right, Coach, uh, do you have a favorite drill or a favorite thing you do at practice? Anything. I mean, a drill, practice, motivation, whatever it is. Do you have anything you like to do at practice? One of the things just to kind of get communication and defense uh, kind of started, what I like to do is this right here. Um, I call this my can, – can you see that, Coach? Yeah, I can. So he okay. – Coach, for those of you that are, li for those of you that are listening – um, I'll, I'll put a link down below where you can actually see what he's talking about, but so what's going to happen is you're going to take, I, I like to do this early on in the season with three guys at a time, three V three. And then as we progress and I feel a little more comfortable, we'll go four V four and then five V five and really make it more into a game situation. I call it my one, two, three drill. And sometimes I even use it before games on game days, just to kind of get guys talking. And the way it works is you have three guys in the line on defense underneath the goal, one, two, three, that's their numbers. And they got to memorize wherever they are in line. And then I have three guys anywhere on the outside, the perimeter. They can pick top, the key, wherever. So you have the two weeks. So when they line up on uh, under the basket, they're literally lining up in order. So one is the yes. closest to the top of the key, then two, then three. And then you have a guy, two, uh, two people on each, one person on each wing and a person at the top of the key correct yeah. yes okay and they can yep. they can be anywhere they can start moving if they want to okay anywhere on the three-point line and we have a coach has a basketball now he's going to call it a number out loud one two or three when he's calling that he's making the pass and the pass needs to be a kind of a fluff pass it's got to have some time underneath it so they can get out there on defense um, if he calls one the first guy in line is going to run out to wherever he passed the ball the second and third really have to communicate. And that's the best part because they both could run for the same guy. Um, they got to start talking right then and there. Um, and so we we just kind of do that and play three on three. Uh, and what I like to do is add a rule on offense. Like they have to have um, either two ball handoffs or two screens before they can shoot and just kind of make it a live three on three situation. But really my ultimate goal is getting my defenders talking. That's, that's I love kind of that. My I love that. So, so a couple of things. Um, what do they, how do they start cheating in this drill? Cause they always start <laughs> cheating. So what's the big cheat on this drill? Cause what they'll do is the back two guys, they'll try and say, Hey, you know, I got so-and-so or, Hey, I got Parker. Hey, I got this guy. Yeah. Um, and so I try to listen out for it and try to pay attention. And then I'll, I'll call their number for somebody else. Um, just trying to put them in weird situations and get them talking and, and the best part too is, is like, because this is so defensive centered, like I could tell my assistant coach, Hey, I want you to watch, you know, foot placement. I want you to watch, you know, are we having the correct guy that is our wall, our goalie? Um, and then we can kind of split it up. So we're not really looking at the offense. The offense is kind of just playing free principles, passing screen or, or pass ball, you know, stuff like that. Right. Uh, but this is really harping on our defense, making sure we're doing what we need to do. And I love, I love the part that you're putting constraints on it too. That's what I tell all the young coaches. I said, you put in because two dribbles max or something on offense, or you do something to con to kind of constrain them a little bit. That way they'll have to move, or we, you know, got to score off a ball screen, or you got to hand up, whatever you want to do as far as your con specific constraints. I love that. Where do you tend to do that? Do that as the animation. Let me see the animation on that. When yep. do you so? Um, I try to do it at the beginning of practice. So after we okay. do some stretching and do it like a dynamic warm up, we kind of go into it and see if it's going to let me play. The... We'll see if it works. It might. Oh, it does. There we go. Okay. Yep. So coach oh, makes a fluff pass to the guy on the side. Yep. He calls out number one. Number one. And then number one, one has to go to the ball. Yes. Whatever you call. Okay. Yep. So, uh, and, and it's fun whenever you call three because that's the hardest one because the two front guys have to move, but they've uh, got to, you know, the guy's trying to fight through them to get to who he needs to get to. Right. Um, so one will go out there. Two, I'm hoping is communicating and yelling. If not, we're we're stopping and restarting. Uh, but he's calling it out. And then three is standing there because we do a uh, goalie. We do a, a guy in the back. I love that. Um, people call it a help defender. We we call it goalie. So and why do you call it goalie? I stole it from Texas Tech. Uh, Chris Beard when he went on that run and amazing defense. And uh, 
we do we do his defenses um you know lock sideline have a goalie that walls up um so you know just a goalie like in soccer their yeah. main goal is to protect the goal it's nice when that goalie's like six eleven. but yes i would agree <laughs> i would agree i love that all right thank you coach Hey, Coach, so happy you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.